A firm mattress covered by a sheet makes a safe bed. It should fit snugly in the crib frame. Make sure to remove any plastic wrapping around a new mattress. Sure. Okay, which side is up? Oh, well, this to be on the bottom part. The risk of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS, is reduced by as much as 70% when babies sleep on their backs. Especially during the first six months of life, when the risk of SIDS is highest, remember the phrase, back to sleep, and you will automatically place your baby in the safest position for sleeping. Can you do some more rolling? Huh? Can you do some more rolling? When your baby is awake, however, she needs plenty of tummy time to give her neck and other muscles a chance to develop as they should. Because they can block a baby's airway, remove pillows, puffy quilts, and stuffed animals from your baby's crib when she sleeps. Keep crib sides up, use bumper pads and tie them securely, and never harness or strap your baby in her crib. If you attach a mobile to her crib, Make sure it stays well out of your baby's reach. Never leave your baby with a bottle in his crib. Hold him in your arms for every feeding. To protect against fire and burns, use pajamas and bed linens that are flame retardant. Do not use space heaters. Install fire extinguishers. Put carbon monoxide and smoke detectors in every place recommended by your local fire department. If you rent your home, ask your landlord to do the same. And remember to change batteries at least once a year, perhaps when the clocks move forward or back. If you smoke and are not yet able to quit, smoke outside, but never smoke around your baby or allow anyone else to either. Babies exposed to secondhand smoke have many more respiratory illnesses, allergies, accidental burns, and they have an increased risk of sudden infant death. Put screens around radiators or wood stoves, even before your child begins to crawl. Do not drink hot liquids or cook while holding your baby. Don't heat bottles or baby food in a microwave oven, which heats unevenly and can lead to burns. Reset the temperature of your home's hot water heater to the coolest setting, which will be less than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And when bathing your baby, always test hot water with your wrist. If you are bathing in the sink, run cold water through the faucet last, and then turn the spigot to the side, out of baby's reach. Wanna get up? You wanna get up? Uh -huh because just one severe sunburn in infancy doubles the risk of skin cancer. Keep your newborn out of strong sunlight. Use clothing, hats, and umbrellas to shade your baby. Check with your baby's healthcare provider about applying sunscreen before six months of age. <laughs>